Good evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Friday evening start of the weekend here. All right, 9.46 p.m. That's California time, September 26, 2025. Uh, latest activity here on the map shows uh, some movement up around the Kamchatka area. It's been relatively quiet here. Um, well, it looks like we had a couple earthquakes here throughout the day, including a 5.1 the Japan area is a quiet region, it looks like, at least on the USGS model. Uh, fairly quiet there on the Earthquake 3D globe as well. Uh, some newer activity, it looks like that's around the uh, China area up here. Uh, 5.2 and a 4.8. That's kind of an odd area. It's off of the plate boundary a ways. Uh, so pressurization, I think, is quite great out here in this area. Also got a what well, looks like a swarm of movement here across the uh, Indonesia area. One of the latest quakes around the globe shows a 3.4. We'll check back on that here in a little bit. Uh, as far as the west coast goes, let's see what we have going on here. Of course, there's that 5.8, 5. Uh, yeah, 5.9, excuse me, from yesterday late evening. So we got a couple hours to go before it drops off the 24-hour uh, map. So far, only a couple earthquakes out there in the uh, three range. Now, normally when we see earthquake activity out here in this zone, it uh, kind of transfers pressure down across this area. This is a strike slip boundary. And there's a, a spreading, sea f spre spreading sea floor center. That shouldn't be too hard to say on a Friday night, right? That uh, obviously creates new oceanic crust, but the strike slip boundary where that 5.9 stirred up is right about here. Uh, now the pressure most of the time occurs or uh, transfers down in this general direction, which is the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Um, the tremor map, though, tonight doesn't show uh, any tremor counts down here. In fact, it's absent of any slow slip events here in the, uh, the day period. 424 epicenters, though, up around the Seattle area. That's how it's been uh, at least here in the last week or so. Most of the movement, which is uh, 1,810 epicenters of slow slip events up there underneath the Seattle area. Uh, it's down into the deeper areas of the Cascadia subduction zone, down below the locked area. So when this activity is stirring up, you can expect strain is building up here across that locked zone. There was one, one earthquake up here on the Cascadia fold and thrust belt. That's what this uh, uh, all these ridges are all about due to the, um, the folding of the plate as the Juan de Fuca plate dives underneath the area. One of these days is going to rebound, uh, at least out here, but this area will drop. And, uh, yeah, that won't be good. But there was a little 1.2. It was just about 1 o'clock this morning or so. As uh, far as any other activity goes, uh, some smaller quake activity around Mount St. Helens. Nothing specifically up at it. But uh, I do want to verify that, see what we have there. Mount St. Helens, real quick. And up at the summit area. I'd like to use this one here because it shows uh, some pretty good amplitude readings. And it picks up uh, most of the earthquake activity that's occurring out there. Um, there's, there's a 5.8 or 5.9, excuse me, from the... I don't know why I want to call it 5.8 for some reason. Um... But that's the 5.9 from last night. Um, handful of earthquakes there. It looks like at Mount St. Helens since then. Very small earthquake activity. These, these are very small events. These could be happening up at the summit or it could be deeper earthquakes. Hard to say. Uh, but they're very small uh, in terms of any magnitudes. Um, Mount Rainier. Really not a whole lot shown up here on the map. But let's just go double check because... Seems like most of the data here here has been cut off in terms of reporting any earthquake activity. Uh, at least here in the last few hours, not a whole lot, nothing big going on. Maybe a couple smaller earthquakes in there. Very small microquakes at that. There's the 5.9 off the coast here of Oregon earlier. Uh, and as you can see, a handful of earthquakes out there. Very small ones. But there's definitely a... Still looks like earthquake activity. Nothing really being reported though. Uh, that's up here at Mount Rainier. All right, uh, and no further earthquake activity around the Seattle area, but uh, you can bet that that's adding further strain out there across the locked area, uh, roughly around towards the middle section, north middle uh, north central section here of the uh, Cascadia. Bay area, pretty quiet, not a whole lot going on there for now, after, you know, some movement there on the Hayward Fault here a few days ago. 
Southern California, pretty absent of earthquake activity here. Things have really dropped off here in Southern California right now. I was watching this area, though, because it's kind of out there in the middle point boundary between the 5.9 this morning and uh, some activity there off the coast of Mexico uh, from yesterday uh, right here. that We had a, a five, couple fives out there. Kind of jumped over this region here. Uh, just absent of earthquake activity in between those zones, but we do need to... Uh, Keep an eye on it. Nothing major going on up there through Yellowstone. Pretty quiet looking. Uh, the rest of the country, pretty quiet as well. Let's see what else we got here on the globe. Uh, Iceland's got a little bit of activity up here across that rift boundary, a three-pointer. Um, let's see here if there's any new movement down across this area. 4.3 just coming in right now. Uh, looks like that's uh, around the uh, Nicaragua area potentially uh, right there along the Middle America Trench. Not a deep earthquake, but uh, somewhat of a minor to moderate quake, 4.3. South America area still got uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity stirring up here. A lot of newer rings on the globe, but that's the, uh, the white circles. They're starting to show up down here across these areas again. And uh, let's see, New Zealand pretty quiet. Bunch of movement here recently across the Vanuatu and the Fiji Tonga area skipping over this region where we got a swarm of activity right now uh, I would keep an eye on this area here as it, it normally fills in when we have a lot of activity like this it just doesn't bounce back and over back and forth here uh, and leave this area blank uh, for too long absent of earthquake activity all right uh, let's see here Still got a bunch of movement out there around Turkey. Some out there around the Greece area. A little earthquake up there in the, uh, looks like the Campe Flagre fields, a volcanic field. So let's just go double check, see what we have there. Uh, and for that, we're going to go over here to the Raspberry Shake data system that uh, has a bunch of stations out here in the area. Um, let me see what we got for earthquake activity. Nothing big. These are all just over the last few days or so. Looks like the latest is a little 2.1. That, uh, not a big quake, but some movement stirring up out there. Really nothing big, though. I'm not even going to look into that anymore because it's just kind of, it's periodically getting some earthquake activity, but nothing of any abnormal movement for now. Let's see here if there's anything else. Hawaii, really nothing major going on out there. A couple of twos, some deeper movement quakes out there recently. But uh, I think we're on tap here to see another eruption pretty soon. Let's go take a look here at the inflation chart real quick. Just kind of keep this a short, simple update. I think I'm going to call it uh, early night, actually. Uh, after this update, I'm going to... Probably head to bed. There was a sharp increase right here. Look at that. We we're starting to go down just a little bit, and then it just ramped back up there with inflation. Uh, not quite to the level yet we've seen there on episode 33, but getting close. So that could come up here at any time. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and check out space weather activity. Sun's being blacked out. I believe that's being eclipsed there by the moon at the moment. It always happens around this time period. As you can see here, it's every 24 hours, so that would make sense where we're at right now. Looks like there was an inflare starting to kick up um, from one of those sunspots over there, I believe. Well, how new is this? This is fairly recent. This area is super bright over here. Um... But we also have a couple other areas out on the eastern limb that are showing uh, some some flaring activity. Uh, let's see if any of these are... This one's still offline for some reason. Uh, it looks like this cluster is a region that's showing that uh, flaring activity right now. But notice over here, 4332 and another area coming off the eastern limb. This, this one right here looks fairly complex with that magnetic structure in close proximity. We'll get a better look of that there tomorrow in the coming days but right now the flare threat somewhat low at about 30 percent chance but notice here 
you know, a little bit of instability there, a little bit of popcorn flaring going on. That's indicative there of the uh, complexity there within the sunspot model, sunspot uh, models here. Uh, so that will probably go up here, uh, pending that holds together with that uh, sunspot up there. 5% chance there for an X flare. Nothing major going on there in the Aurora forecast for now, folks. As uh, far as any hurricane activity goes, we do have a couple different storms out here. Got Humberto out there. I think it's at a category. Let's see, what are we looking at here? That's a beautiful system. Well-defined, beautiful eye. That is fortunately going to go up here to the northwest and then stir off back to the Atlantic. Nowhere near land. Uh, it's got 145 mile per hour sustained wind, so that is a big one. There's another one over here to the west, which is, um, uh, it looks like it got a name already. Is it Humberto? No, that's Humberto right there. Where is it? Hold on a second here. Oh, it was just, okay. It's just uh, potential tropical cyclone nine here. Uh, it is expected to make it to hurricane status. There is some tropical storm warnings up here in the blue. Tropical storm watches up here in the yellow uh, for the Bahamas area. That is expected to make major, or not major hurricane, but at least hurricane status here around Monday and uh, get close to land here Tuesday night. So it doesn't have a lot of time here before it hits land, but there is a, a possibility of it making up to the hurricane status around that time period most of the spaghetti models here showing uh well they're they're kind of all over the place here right and that's going to be dependent on this other hurricane see if it pulls it with it out to the shore or off uh, further out into the atlantic but some of these now are starting to show uh, maybe not so much inland anymore just more of a diversion to the uh to the right look at these these are all over the place here but we'll have to watch that and see how this plays out either way here's the potential strength here some of these now are starting to go up around the two range category two but mainly strong tropical storm low grade category one hurricane as we head um, towards early this uh, coming week here all right uh, i think that's about it folks just gonna call it um hope everyone enjoys their evening wonderful weekend out here temperature is supposed to drop we got even a little bit of rain coming in here to northern california from a uh, system coming in from the uh, pacific here nothing big in fact it looks a lot weaker than than um what it showed earlier but i will take any precipitation at this point notice some blue up here on the map that's a cold system coming in down from the north there as we head towards not next week but the following week there in uh, october 7th time period Look at that, another hurricane out there as we head towards first week of October. That's a ways out. We'll def definitely uh, come back and check on that. As far as the uh, total accumulated precipitation runs out here. Um, oh, that's the accumulated. Hold on a second here. There we go. California finally getting a little bit of rainfall. Not much, but uh, most of the heavier stuff will stay along the coastline. And then, of course, there's the uh, tropical system there. Uh, that has potential to bring uh, quite a bit of rain there across the Carolinas if it uh, continues to track that direction. Uh, snowfall? Got any snow up there? Well, there's a couple cold systems coming down here. Looks like a little bit of early snowfall here for portions of Montana and Idaho, Washington area. Maybe a little bit here across Colorado and Utah. I'm ready for it. I wish. I wish we got snow down here in the valley. I have to go up in the Sierra Nevada mountains to get the snow, but I would love to uh, have it snow where I live. That would be awesome. But that's just me. All right, folks, have a good evening. We'll see you guys back out here for the Saturday morning update. Get some sleep and uh, uh, have a safe one out there.